electro mobility the transportation of future the traditional internal combustion engines that runs on petrol and diesel are going to soon face a revolution and very soon you will see a city filled with electric cars electric motorbikes and electric scooters why well there are general factors and technical factors when it comes to the general factors electricity is cheaper than gasoline they are environment friendly the maintenance required for the electric vehicles is lesser they are quiet and doesn't produce much of the sound pollution and in fact few of the two wheeler companies are working towards bringing up a future to imitate the sound because some of their customers are really crazy about the sound of the two wheeler lot of questions coming to our minds when we start thinking about an electric vehicle what is the feasibility does it really work and what about the life of the battery charging stations availability the running cost the future source of electricity do we have enough electricity and when you think about the employee perspective what are the career opportunities where are the areas that you should be targeting there are more than 10 million jobs are going to be created in this field let's see welcome to another video electric vehicles runs on electric motors the ac induction motors electric motors have the powerful torque right from the first rpm unlike from petrol and diesel engine where engine has to revamp to a few thousand rpm before getting that power torque is something that gives you the feeling of the acceleration for example when you sit in a airplane and when the pilot opens up the throttle of the engine you are pushed back to your seats that's torque there are few more technical factors there is no oil change required for an electric vehicle because there is no oil to run the engine the braking system in an electric vehicle will live longer because the engine is slowed down by reversing the electric motor and by controlling the flow of electricity and there is no much of mechanical friction applied on the brake pads the brake pads will live longer an electric vehicle has very less moving parts there are no expensive exhaust systems there is no expensive fuel injection systems there is no starter motor radiator and the fuel handling systems and the fuel tank itself many of such parts are not required for an electric vehicle the engine is very light when compared to the internal combustion engines all these factors collectively makes the drive easy smooth and in control range from today's technology the full charge of a battery from 0% to 100% can get you 300 to 350 kilometers of drive in a car and almost 80 to 100 kilometers in a bike what if you are on a trip no worries the future fuel stations are expected to have this charging unit added to them so what about the battery life an average electric car manufacturer today provides up to 8 years of warranty for the battery they are ready to replace it so basically you are sorted for 8 to 10 years there won't be any major issues they are lithium ion batteries the kind of the battery that's used in the mobile phones a higher version of the same and one charge can get you 300 to 350 kilometers of travel so the company claims 1000 charge cycle as a life of the battery so basically you are sorted for 3 lakh kilometers but a new battery will cost you 5 to 6 lakhs but the technology is evolving and this will definitely come down and it doesn't mean that the battery will die after 10 years it will have its second life and this can be used for other applications just that the efficiency will be reduced and this cars will have an engine control unit or a motor control unit which will monitor the performance of electronic components and engine as a whole for example if a coolant change is required or if there is any wear and tear in the brake pads this gives us the information that something is about to be wrong so the whole system is in control what will be my electricity bill it depends on the capacity of the battery pack used and ideally in today's electric car it needs almost 45 units of kilowatt for 0 to 100% charge and unit cost of electricity in india is around 6 to 10 rupees per unit and even if you take the worst case of 10 rupees 450 rupees inr for one charge 0 to 100% so 
you can cover 300 kilometers for rupees 450 it's around 1.5 per kilometer isn't that great battery pack manufacturers i was talking about the battery packs it's all about a set of batteries are configured in series or parallel to get a desired voltage capacity and power density these companies usually buy the cells from a cell manufacturer and designs the whole system and manufacture battery packs as per the specifications and need of the customer the power source of the battery packs and the electric motor and many electronic components and circuit together forms an electric vehicle when it comes to the future career opportunities a lot of companies are in pipeline to invest on electromobility it's very important to understand the categorization of companies not that every electronic company is doing the same kind of work that you are thinking we have oems that manufactures electric cars and electric bikes we have electronic component manufacturers we have ems companies electronic manufacturing services which is different from the electronic component manufacturers we have battery pack manufacturers we have cells manufacturers we have printed circuit board manufacturers let's see all of them one by one components manufacturers these are the major companies they manufacture electronic components and there are passive components and active components resistors capacitors and inductors are called as passive components they are not capable of amplifying or processing an electronic circuit semiconductors diodes and transistors are able to control the electron flow through them they are active components their circuit boards the solder chip is printed on the board in which the electric connections are made by these lines an electronic components that we discussed earlier are soldered into this printed circuit board to form the printed circuit board assembly and the way these components are engineered and connected in the pcb decides the function of the overall component these are some of the ems companies or electronic manufacturing and service companies these companies design manufacture and distribute the electronic component assemblies as per the customer requirement they usually buy the electronic component from the electronic component manufacturers and they buy the printed circuit board from the printed circuit board manufacturers and make the assembly they make the electronic product say a complete control unit and they supply to oems like tata mg and daimler so the future career opportunities in ems industry and electronic component manufacturers are expected to go on a higher side with more demand for electromobility the future source of electricity do we have enough power for the future well apart from the current technologies we have there are few more things coming up there is something called space based solar most of the solar energy today is not making it to the earth's atmosphere and there is a technology evolving to place the solar panels in space and transfer the energy to earth this can do a major contribution for our energy needs artificial sun south korea has already developed an artificial sun means the kind of reaction that happening in the sun the hydrogen fusion reaction in a controlled environment fusion can produce enormous amount of energy they already have a reactor and few of such reactor can address the electricity need of the world but they tried 100 times to get the reaction active for few seconds and if this technology evolves this can answer the need of our electricity the highlight here is this is a clean energy and it doesn't harm the environment this video doesn't mean that the internal combustion engines are going to die they have their own technology enhancement and not everybody has stopped investing in research and development of internal combustion engines please comment below was this video enough informative and what do you think about electromobility